J.D. Milton is a son that I'm really proud of. I don't think many people could do what J.D. did. It's something inside of J.D. that shows how strong of a person he is. I'm always proud to say that J.D. Middleton swam for me, but more importantly, J.D. Middleton swam for himself. The chance to be on a team is not always guaranteed. That experience is something that J.D. Middleton cherishes more than anything. If I love representing a school or my team, it's something that's more than just me, it's um, a sense of accomplishment from swimming. JD has been swimming since he was in third grade at the age of nine. Yeah. 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 JD swam at the Pendleton Swim Club in Pendleton Heights, Indiana. It was there that he grew fond of the sport. The pool at Pendleton has a lot of memories just because that's where I kind of grew as a swimmer there, just all the practices and the meets there and all the friends that I made there. There's a lot of memories going back there. You know, if I told the guy to just go out until you threw up in the gutter, he'd do it, you know. Yeah, I guess you got to be a swimmer to understand that, but, you know, he embodies everything that a coach wants. At the high school level, J.D. accomplished feats in the pool that were unheard of. Whenever we would go to sectionals, J.D. would just get be able to swim to two events. He scored in his two swims higher than another team that had a full team. I just couldn't be any prouder, you know, with the whole situation. If you take any other ordinary kid um, and put him in that kind of a situation, I don't I think they would fail, to be quite honest. What JD did in the pool was unprecedented. He did it by himself as a team of one. JD attended high school at Shenandoah. It is a school based in Middletown, Indiana, which has a population of 2,200 people. So Shenandoah is a really small farm town school. There's 400 people in the high school. And it was football and basketball and FFA. Swimming was never a topic that even popped up. When that school was built, there was supposed to have been a pool, but the school board actually voted down the pool. It's sad. All four years of high school, J.D. swam at Pendleton Heights swim meets by himself, representing Shenandoah. I actually ended up only being able to swim during the JV events, so I didn't really get to swim what I wanted, so it was kind of difficult for me not being able to swim with people that could actually push me. I've seen him swim a heat where it's just been him by himself. We couldn't take points away from Pendleton and we couldn't take points away from the other team that would be there. So every time JD swam, it was for himself and for his school and for his time. As JD entered his final years of high school, the stress of representing an entire school began to wear on him. I actually almost quit the sport of swimming before I came here just because I was alone and I didn't have that team aspect. So, I mean, after years of trying to motivate myself, I was really tired of that. There wasn't a team there, and he was really lacking that, and I think that's really what he wanted was to have a team. It looked like JD's swimming career was coming to an end, but it didn't. It took one splash to change JD's fortune. JD's art teacher at Shenandoah had a Ball State swimming connection. I happened to know uh, Coach Thomas because his daughters swam with my daughters at Catalina Club. So I wrote down all his times, all his best times, statistics, and he took all the stats and called him I think within a couple days. JD came the next weekend for a visit and that was that. After years of swimming by himself, JD finally experienced being on a team. He was no longer a team of one. I mean it's just so great to see him from the tiny boy that he was to the young adult that he has become. If I ever had a son, I'd, I, I had all daughters, but uh, he, he's the kind of kid I'd want. He worked very hard at something that he got very little notoriety for. He's dedicated, he's 
very strong-willed, and I'm very proud. For Ball State Sports Link, I'm Andy Wright.